What's good YouTube? It's your boy back with another YouTube video for you guys. Today we here with a point guard build for you guys. Man, this build, I'm not gonna lie. I'm liking this. I wish I found builds like this like in the starting of the game, but that's why you always gotta like take your time with the game and really like break down the stuff you want. Or else you're gonna be wasting a lot of money on a lot of builds, which I did. So yeah, I thought I was gonna make like, okay, two builds. I'm gonna have my two builds ready. And that's it. Nope. I made like five, five six, six bills. bills. Messed up like three of them. Had to make over some bills. Now I got four bills in my my current, like my career right now. Like that's the only thing I got right now. So the other three I messed up, not gonna lie. So this one right here I made for myself and I'm giving it to you guys. I know some YouTubers, they don't give you guys their bill. They just, they just make a bill and be like, yo, this is this is the best bill. And they don't use it. The you know, only way you'll see their bill is like if you go in their park and then you be like, oh my gosh, 99, mid-range, 99, three-point shot, 99, dunk, 99, steal. Yeah, but I'm going to give you guys the sauce. This is an ISO bill, of course. Um, Yeah, you don't, you don't need screens with this bill or it's not going to be effective. As you see in the start, you could dribble pretty good with it. If you know how to combo up, man, I know how to combo up in this game. If you know how to combo up on a tall guard, then you can make this build. You could even go crazier than me. I'm just doing a little something, something to show you guys how it moves. It gets good speed with ball too. You know, I'm gonna lie, lightning launch on gold, man. Like, yo, you good. And you could just improve it, that plus one in the um, synergy and just make it go to Hall of Fame. Boom, you're good. So we're gonna continue. I'm gonna show you guys the stats. Close shot, we got a 78. Driving layup, 85. Driving dunk, I put this low because I don't really need driving dunk so high. Like I just needed to get to a threshold to where I could get um CJ McCollum. CJ McCollum is like a good dunk for tall guards. You know, have a little calm, good dunk boom. You don't need nothing crazy. You don't need to be posterizing nobody. You don't, no. Don't listen to these YouTubers, right? You don't need to be doing all of that. You just need to get to your spot. This is why you, that's why you make a bill. I'm seeing some bills. They got like 99, there's 99, blah, 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 and they don't know how to use the bill. Like I played against some of them in the um, proving grounds too. I could just tell. Like I see this one guy. He has like he probably got like 99 steel, and then he, bro, I made him quit because <laughs> I had my um had my main bill. And that's my two way. Um, shot creating slasher or whatever, whatever it's called. I don't forgot the name. I don't, I don't remember the name, but yeah, I made him quit. And he had like what a 99 steal and all that. And you put all of that so high, and you're not sacrificing for other stuff on your build. But anyways, you got a nine, you got a 60 dunk, so you could get CJ McCollum. Remember that. I'm gonna show you guys the um the um animations and everything, and. Yeah, you go go crazy. You got a mid range of 76, 84 three pointer. Good man. 70 free throw. So if you go to the right, 
You know what I'm saying? Put a good free throw on, you're making your free throws. You got 85 pass accuracy. The reason why I did this is because passing in this game is nice. Not even gonna lie, it's not it's not underrated. Like like 24 was bad, bro. You if you didn't have a good passing, yeah, you're just gonna be passing it slow. And in this game too, like it's the same thing. You you don't have a good passing, your passing is gonna be slow. You're gonna be real slow out there with the passes. And then everybody just gonna be stealing it from you. That's why I went high. And then sometimes I be taking fades with it with like a point guard bill. So this is more tall. This is more of a taller bill, sorry. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of fades. And if I get caught on like a bad shot, I could have bailout on bronze. So you know that's the benefits of the bill. If I put it down anymore, you're not gonna have bailout. So you get you get good um, playmaking badges here. See good break starter, visionary, versatile visionary. Sorry. And then we go to ball handle, which is 90. I went for 90 so you could get handles for days on goal. And then 86 speeded ball so you get lightning launch on goal. All right. I, I went for the thresholds for everything, man. I'm not, you know, I'm not wasting attributes. I'm not doing none of that. I'm not about to be having my dunk crazy high for no reason. And I'm not going to be doing no, no dunks. You know, <laughs> like, yo, it makes no sense. So, um, perimeter defense. I didn't want to go this high with it. But I had a little extra, so I was like, you know what? I have a long wingspan, 7-1 wingspan. I'm going to go for, like, a little bit more. So I got 82 for the perimeter. Steel, 90. So now you're going to be out there just playing good defense. You don't need this on no 94, no 99 to play. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't need that. And then this build, it could get silver high fly denier, but I feel like as a point guard, gold, I mean, I said gold. Bronze is good enough. So you only need it to be at, what, 68? And I had the little extra, so I put it to 70. You know? So you're going to be out there blocking stuff still if you know how to play good defense. So that's that. We got 83 speed, 86 agility. So I'm telling you, but this build is good all around. You can do everything. You don't got to dunk the ball crazy. Don't, don't watch the 60 dunk. I'm telling you. I'm going to show you the, the animations in a little bit. And then you got 60 strength, so you get strong handle on bronze and physical finisher on bronze. That's all you need. That's all you need. You don't need it any higher than that. When you drive into the paint, you're good. And we have a high layup, too. Got to talk about the layup. So you can get float game on silver. You, If you want it high, you want to put up to 88 and get the gold, you could if you want to. But I'm telling you, you're going to sacrifice a whole lot more. When you do that, I mean, you even put this down a little bit, you know, like if you want to, like put it down to 74 and put that up, it's up to you. But this is how I wanted it, so you can still play around with this bill, man. But if you want the name that is on the bill, make it like this. If you want that name, you're still gonna be making a good amount of layups down there, so yeah, you're gonna be going crazy. 60 strength, 60 vertical. The reason why I went 60 vertical, you only need 60 vert and a 68 block to get high flight at night. Boom. Simple. You don't need it on anything higher than that. Just don't for me. And then you, your rebounds, you're not going to be out there snagging or doing anything crazy. Like, that's why it's so low. See, I could even put it down even more if I wanted to and put it somewhere else. But I'm like, eh, it don't make no sense. It's not going to make it a big difference. So, I'm going to continue. And the name, I'm not going to lie, it took me a while to find the name. But, you know, I found a name that is pretty rare. I don't see nobody with this bill a lot. An inside out ISO specialist, I don't see nobody with that. I, I, the main bill I'm seeing is shot creating three level threat. Ass, this is, this is not, not a good bill. I hate hearing that bill over and over and over. Shot creating three level. No, I don't want to know. I want to see something nice like 3 and D guard, 3 and D point. I seen a lot of those. Those are nice. I haven't seen that. And I was like, oh, I've seen that bill. I'm like, oh, that's some that's a good stats right there on that bill, probably. So you got inside of specialists. That's nice. So now I'm gonna show you guys the animations. You put whatever free throw you want, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'll be putting um Kobe Bryant. 
That's the big dog right there. I'll be putting him. You can put whatever you want. Layup style Halliburton. The reason why I put Halliburton is going to be good for when you're doing floaters. Look at this animation, man. Boom, boom. When you're doing, you're doing Euro steps as well. If you know how to do Euro steps, pretty good. Halliburton. Put Halliburton on. I would put Irving, but I don't have... I'm not on the 6'5", so... I'm not... To me, because Irving is like one of the good layups. But Halliburton is good. Um, I haven't tested anybody else, really. But you could play around with it. Halliburton, I know, if, like, you get the good Euro steps with it. So that's why I put that. And you're on a, you're on an ISO build. So you're going to need Halliburton. Then CJ McCollum, as I said, you see what I'm telling you? That's all you need. You need a 40 dunk, and you're going to be under 6'10". That's it. That's it. You're still going to be able to dunk. Don't need no crazy high dunk to be like effective on offense. You can still have a good dunk with a low dunk rating. You know, like come on, bro. You don't need it to be all crazy and oh my god, I look flashy. Like no, me, I like to just get to my spot, score. That's it. I don't need doing no extra stuff. Dylan Brooks, I like this go-to shot. I'm not gonna lie, but you could put something else on. I feel I feel like I did something random with Dylan Brooks, but sometimes when I get caught on like the three point line and I just want to like do a little move real quick, I feel like yeah I'm gonna use Dylan Brooks because I could just do a little step over, boom, get to my spot. That's why I chose him. You could play around with this. I'm not telling you to put it on. Dribble pull up, Jalen Green, man. <sighs> Come on, bro. You're gonna be going crazy. Like, let me show you the animations. Look at this. Woo. Look at that pull up. Yeah. Nice and aggressive. Smooth. I like that. I like that about the build, man. I like that. I said about the build. But the animation. Um, Spin jumper don't really matter. Hop jumper, Jalen Green again. Just look at the animation. The dribble animation I'm going to show you guys. You get it with Jalen Green as well. So, yeah. Look at that animation. I'm going to show you guys how it moves as well. And these are the dribble moves. You can take it down. I'm not going to go through how everything is. But the best dribble style for tall guards is Tyrese Halliburton. Simple. And then motion style, GG Jackson. Those are the ones you should put on. Everything else, you could. it's your preference. How it looks to you, like, whatever. So now, we're going, for me, I'm going to show you guys a little stuff. I'm going to show you guys. Boom, boom. See me? Like, huh, huh. And then I'm going to show you guys the Jalen Green um, hop jumper. I could speed boost out of that. You know how tall guards don't get the nice little speed boost as the small guards when you boom and you do that? No. If you want to really like speed boost properly, you got to do the Jalen Green, man. So I'm going to show you that one little move for you guys. If you want a full dribble tutorial, make sure to smash up the like button. Turn the bell notifications on. You never miss a video. So... Right now, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna just show you how it looks. I'm gonna show you how it looks, and then I'm gonna explain to you how it works. So I'm gonna show you right now. On your right stick, you hold on your right stick, and then you speed boost. Hold on your right stick, and you just go to whatever side you did the step back. I don't know if I explained that right, but let me. Try and explain it again. So you do step back and you just go to the left. You go to the right right there. So your player is facing the left right here. Wait, let me, let me see. He's facing the left. So boom, he's going to go to the left. So you go boom and you go to the left. He's facing the left. If he's face, the ball is in the right hand and you do the step back, boom, to the right. I wish I had my, my um, controller cam, but I don't. So... I mean, I could explain it as, as much as I can right there. Hey. That's a little speed boost you could do. Ew, that was a bad shot. But, yeah. This build is nice. If you want to make it, make sure to smash up the like button. And I'm going to give you guys a tall guard dribble tutorial. So, stay tuned. Smash up the like button. We're going to catch you guys in the next video, man.